Hey folks, and welcome to another Ministry match with Zanzibar Z. Today's match features a couple of top players, Vanzini again, and Pontifex, who hasn't played much this season, uh, this month, so isn't high ranked, but he's uh, been a great player in the past. I start right next to Vanzini, which isn't optimal. Uh, I don't notice him at first, so I place down that early power, but I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna get rid of everything and run. Uh, I don't want to be right here. It's kind of crowded. Five people here, especially right on top of Vendini. So this is a great strategy in general. If you start next to a bunch of players, you don't want to have to fight right away. You want to go somewhere and build up. You have enough resources right off the beginning to build up in a new hex. And I go all the way to the corner. This early power thing I've got, uh, it's a little bit modified from past videos. Uh, it's self-starting now. That's why there's two pneumatic drills going into a combustion generator and I speed up here because the early game is not all that exciting. I'm just booming up. No one attacks me. Very safe. So first things first, power, then drugs. Don't quite have enough power to make all the drugs that I can afford. So make a few, wait for them to build, then add a few more. But yeah, first things first, graphite. Just add as much graphite as I possibly can. Now this is this graphite actually gets overloaded. I needed to add some titanium conveyors in there to, to fix it. Here is uh, quite a conundrum. My drugs are running all the way across the map. I didn't realize this was gonna happen or just slipped my mind. But they have to go back to my initial hex since I haven't capped this one yet. So they make the journey and I was out of copper there for a few seconds, which is quite scary because I didn't even I wasn't even near my, my own hex, so I couldn't mine it myself. But now I've got some copper and things are looking up. We've back to a fairly quick start. Still not that quick, I'm not moving that fast. We're on two times speed, so looks like I'm superhuman, but uh it's it's not the quickest APM. But silicon first. Gradually build up. Get the sand in there, get the coal in there. Didn't have really nice coal patches, but we'll make do. Also I've decided getting titanium before silicon, yeah, it's more important. Especially because I need titanium belts to really make the silicon build work that I that I always use, this basic one. But uh, now it's working. Oh, don't let any silicon in. Backbeat it and uh, clog the whole process. Let's get extra coal in there. Let's go find some more coal, because even with that coal, I don't think it's going to be enough. Often I make this large silicon build and I don't even add enough to make it efficiently work. So try to avoid that. Uh, add my thorium. Uh, I like adding that pretty much as soon as I can, right during the silicon build or right after the silicon build. Right here I'm not sure what to do next. I want to add graphite, but I don't have enough thorium for an air blast drill and I like to go straight to the air blast drill to add a second graphite build, so instead I compromise for a laser, which could put me in a tough spot with not enough graphite to finish this, but fortunately that's not the case here. I don't have an, a perfect coal patch of 4x4, so uh, just add in another drill to make that multi-press almost perfectly efficient. Now let's get another belt of titanium, that's very important, and check resources, they're doing okay, silicon's coming in, let's focus on graphite because that's usually the first building material we run out of consistent theme. You need silicon for making units, you need graphite for making structures, mostly. I mean, you need everything for everything, but... Thankfully, this, uh, this other guy just south of me, he could have lanced the <laughs> power build, but uh, some players will definitely do that. They'll rush you, they'll destroy all your stuff whenever they can. Uh, fortunately, he doesn't, so I get to survive that one. And that Silicon build was a little bit ambitious. I canceled the extra air blast and the 
Extra oil extractor, I don't have enough thorium, so... Grab some more thorium. Now we can continue to build up. Add even more thorium, let's get a new hex with it. And check. Nope, we're safe. I hear some shooting, but they're not shooting at me. Just fighting each other, so no problem. Add some more power. These laser powers are not the most efficient, but it'll do. We're in a pinch. We go quick. Check the map. Doesn't seem like there's too much action going on. Uh, Benzini and Pontifex will fight fairly soon. Thankfully, they ignore me for a while. Quite low on graphite now, so let's get some more of that. Thorium is also low. But our added build should should help Thorium pretty soon. Add some power since we got so much coal right here. And that's looking good. Looking good. Alright, starting to get a bit crowded, so let's add some units. And now we're back to normal speed because I figure you know it's a little bit more exciting. This is a, a lengthy match, so um, if you're looking for more quick action, you might want to skip ahead a little bit, but if you want to see the full build up and how I got where I got, enjoy. I start with these ghouls. I've got a new ghoul design. It uses the fabled instantaneous transportation of those. Uh, you see it's two inverted sorters. Uh, well, I, I don't want to say it in case I <laughs> mix up what the names are, but yeah, just look up that build. It's, it's the fastest way to move materials, and I can string together my unloaders off the core, and that will unload things even faster, because uh, the only thing stopping that from being instantaneous is the speed of the inloader. So add a, a second in inloader, and your stuff will be transported extremely fast. One drawback, though, is if you don't have enough silicon or titanium, this is going to pull silicon titanium out of the core really fast. So make sure you have enough or turn it off if you're running out. Otherwise, you'll be hamstringed, can't build anything. And that happens at one point. Happens always, so. Uh, now, Metaglass. We've got all the main materials going, and Metaglass as usual on an air map is going to be very important for all my turrets. So, Metagas goes in now. And uh, I've adapted to make a full Metaglass build, including the air blast drills, because you see lead and sand together so often that it's fairly useful to have this whole build uh, planned out. Makes it a bit quicker. Power's looking alright. Now, time for more power. It's not as good as it needs to be. And our cool bombers are starting to do some work. I don't even have to pay too much attention to them, and they're knocking out our neighbors who could have been a problem. But now it's time for plastic. We've got enough power. This hex has plenty of titanium and sand. It's perfect for plastic. We're going to need that quite soon. Had an uh, extra drill on this plastic because uh, I didn't have complete, you know, 4x4, four 3x3 four, three three for the laser and the air blast, so we needed a little bit more titanium to make this work. But uh, power's looking good. Pretty soon we gotta put down the Trident ship so that we can build a little bit faster because that does take a while to build. 2300 power. It's a solid amount. Let's get titanium. Plastic building up very quickly. I've made the ghouls, but I haven't made any other units, so I should still be uh, okay. I'm focusing on economy. I know now I need some defense just in case. I mean, I haven't been attacked yet, but it's likely. Any stray bombers or race or evidence that are flying around, they'll come to the closest hex, so let's set up our defenses on the edge of the base try to attract them to this hex. My core is under attack, you can see at the top, but that's probably the initial core that I put down. Uh, right next to Vincini, if you remember, I started over in the middle of the map and fled up here to the corner. And there goes the trident, we got enough plastic for it. 
Now we can really start to start to kick off. Thought about making some wraiths, but maybe it's not quite time. Power is a little bit low now, but at least we've got some defenses up. Yep, finish it off. Now we need lots of silicon. We need lots of titanium. We need lots of power. Those three ingredients, that's going to be the winning formula for today's battle. And silicon is the most important part of it. As many belts as we can. Because that's going to give us wraiths, pools, remnants, everything we need. Things are pretty calm. Pointifex and Venzini have gotten here. They've reached each other, so... We'll start to see some sparks fly down there. Both are fairly aggressive players. But, uh, fortunately again, they leave me alone. That's, uh, that's basically how you win. <laughs> don't fight for as long as possible. Or, uh, if you don't have a lot of other strong opponents, then... Well, then you can win anyway, but in this type of situation, um, you know, those are the Pontifex and Venzini are two of the stronger players, so they're focusing on each other, especially Pontifex is focusing on Venzini and kind of ignoring me. I mean, there's not much he could do. There's a few other players in between us. I've run out of copper and lead. So let's get some drugs, but can't even build drugs without copper and lead. Um... I always forget copper and lead because I, I don't like to put down any drills for it at the beginning. Drugs are just so fast, you can make all of your initial stuff with uh, just a handful of drugs. But in the mid game, uh, it's very important to supplement your initial drugs with more drugs. And may as well throw down some drills of lead and titanium so that at least you have a, a fixed income of it as well in addition to the, to the drugs. So more lead here. Got uh, plenty of it. Still using my laser air blast, one titanium solid belt set up. I really should check to make sure that's optimal for every resource because they all have different gathering speeds from the drills, so can't be perfect. But I think that it works well enough for titanium, copper, and lead. Uh, titanium's a little bit slower than copper and lead. So might need two air blasts rather than one air blast and one laser. But uh, often I find a patch that you can easily fit one air blast and one laser but not two air blasts, so is what it is. And it, it seems to be almost a full belt, if not full. Yeah, and maybe an air blast and a laser for copper or lead is too much. Um, anyway, time to expand. We need more silicon as you saw we need more titanium following the plan power is still pretty good the waves of units are flying out annoyingly we've still got players popping up right on top of me and that's going to continue all game yeah, it's just free for all uh, players can join at any point later in the game they start with extra resources so it's a little more advantageous and you know if you get knocked out you have to wait for the next game or you can just respawn in so I saw flame popped in there he's gonna come back after he dies as well he keeps getting unlucky and spawning right next to a horde of units coming out of my new instantaneous conveyors they make units so fast those things I, I can make even bigger assembly factories for those. Probably will at some point. Oh, <laughs> power is dead for all my uh, claims to focus on power. Still not focusing on it here. Oh, just to notice that it's dead. So, how to restart your power. Uh, fortunately I have enough resources banked up that even though everything is off right now I can afford to build a whole sand power thing. And it's okay that it's touching those belts. We've got the steam generator touching the belt and the water extractor touching the belt. Those don't output any materials, so we're fine. How's the battle between Benzini and Pontifex going? It's fine. For now. 
Okay. Was that enough power? Nope. <laughs> nope. Negative 15,000. So you might run into that situation where I've got a ton of stuff to turn on. Um, this is a mid late game power crisis. We're going to need to store up a bunch before we, we turn everything on. But the 6k power from the sand power thing should be enough to give us a positive balance at least. And there we go. Looks like it's going to turn back on. Yeah. We're in the clear for now. Oh, didn't even capture the sex. Not getting any income from it. Well, we need the power, so... Let us add it. And we probably need more silicon. Yep, silicon, titanium, graphite, power. Just, you know, run through the checklist every once in a while. Make sure everything is pouring in. That is, if no one's attacking you. So, if no one's attacking, focus eco. If you're getting attacked, focus defense. If you've got tons of eco, and you can break through your opponents, then attack. Should have plenty of power now with two of those sand powers added. And now we need a whole bunch of silicon. So that's one double. Can we fit another double? Doesn't quite look like it. Maybe I could have squeezed it in there, but we'll just go with a small one. It's fine. Could have probably even put two small ones, but uh, that lead's kind of inconveniently covering up everything. So we'll go with one. And I think I forgot to add power to the water extractors for that, so <laughs> it doesn't even turn on. Oh well. Uh, doesn't seem to matter too much in the long run. Just one missing belt of silicon. So now for the big boys, let's add some revenants. Now this isn't the wisest location for these revenants because it's right on the border with Pontifex, but he's very distracted over there. You can see if you look back in the mini-map that he's taken some of the hexes right to the north of Venzini, which means Venzini can't expand, which is very annoying to be that that player to be Benzini. He's gonna need some units to break through there, but uh, he's also getting harassed on his eastern border, so tough to, to focus everywhere. Meanwhile, I'm just adding stuff like crazy, so that's uh, that helps a lot. I don't have to go around and try to claim hexes and add in arcs and everything. I'm just booming up. You can see they're right next to each other, Benzini and Pontifex, so they're probably skirmishing there, trying to add towers right on the border. Um, which, if there's no one else around, then you have to do that. I mean, you, you gotta fight with uh, who's ever fighting you can't just let them take your stuff or well i like to avoid having to fight in that type of arc versus arc lancer versus lancer skirmish uh just i just run away and claim enough hexes so you claim the claim a ring of hexes so that the other player can't build into your into your space and then don't build anything within turret range so that it can't be destroyed build up make some units Often if someone's rushing a bunch of turrets, then they might not have any units, or once you break through the, the crust of uh, outer defenses, you should be able to get through and uh, they have low eco, so won't be won't be too much of a problem. Meanwhile, I gotta clear out some of these guys that are appearing on the periphery of, of my empire, and uh, looks like the little wraiths and ghouls that I'm trickling in are just dying immediately to the to their fortresses. I mean, they're very annoying for sure, but uh, they're not going to completely destroy someone if you just let them ride, so you have to add a command center every once in a while. Time for more silicon and more titanium, as usual. We need a giant income to, uh, to face off against those two GMs in the south. And let's add some more wraiths. I, uh, I've really just started adding in wraiths to my 
portfolio of aggressive units, and I think they're they're a great addition if you're fighting, well, pretty much anyone. They kill the player really fast, so that's nice because they're quick fighters, and um, they're great great against revenants as well. So they will target the enemy uh, revenants, which means you know you don't even need your own turrets if you got enough wraith, and they're cheap. They build quickly. They don't take too much titanium silicon, especially if you have a gigantic titanium silicon eco like I end up with. Here I've got the, the same instant uh, belt configuration that I did with wraiths. Works very well. That's probably enough. That should be able to take his little forties trying to build up defenses, but it's not going to help. Not against that massive swarm. So I'll take that. I'll add some more revenants in here. I haven't made a, an instant revenant scheme I need to because um, it's just so much faster. Ventini saying he doesn't like Pontifex's game. He's probably because he's getting rushed and nobody likes to, f to play against that. You know, It's a tactic. Uh, it'll slow somebody down to lay them. It's just, it's yeah, it really slows you down. So that's uh, that is really helpful to me in this instance because they're just working each other over, and I'm continuously adding more and more stuff. So I've got tons of power, tons of silicon and titanium eco at this point. And they're probably, I mean, Pontifex is probably adding more down there. Don't know what he's doing in his corner. <laughs> uh, yeah, I decide not to say anything. <laughs> I'll stay quiet and hope that uh, they don't bother me for now. <laughs> yeah, uh, some players consider arc rushing trolling, which uh, I would include myself in that in that group. You can play against it, but um, yeah. Anyway, more silicon. Double silicon. I pretty much just always use that same double silicon um, production facility at this point in the game because it's the biggest one I have. I could put them side by side, make it even bigger. Um, now I, I want to build up units there to put some pressure on Pontifex because Venzini right now is, has left. I'm not sure if he got defeated. Didn't really look like he actually got. Um, defeated by units, but he had enough and tapped out at that point. Potfix starts to mass on my border. So now, now uh, the real fight begins for me. In the meantime, more titanium, more silicon. We're building on water, I mean ice, so we've got the water extractor bonus, but I can't take advantage of it here. Not right now. Titanium's starting to look a lot low. Silicon's starting to look a little bit low. Let's get more. But we've got to check on what's happening down in the corner where our units are massing. First, more power. Core's under attack. That's my still my initial hex. Uh, you can kind of see it. It's uh, under the green player slightly to the you know, southwest of the green player. I'm not sure if anyone takes over that core ever, but you know it, it's just a empty core could be destroyed by any units. So he's got some advanced defenses there. Something I rarely do. Put in overdrive projectors. He's got cyclones. I like to use cyclones, but in this game I actually. <laughs> I never make any cyclones, I think. Uh, scatters are just you know, OP in high quantities. Doesn't look like that attack worked. He's got solid defenses there. I mean, maybe we broke some stuff. We definitely took down some stuff, but uh, it didn't quite work. And it looks like he attacked my hex in the meantime. I was paying attention. Just destroyed a couple of remnant factories. That's, like I mentioned earlier, is a poorly placed uh, spot for Revenant Factories, I should have 
made this a defensive hex. But, oh well, if we make our gather point here, then that's basically a defensive hex anyway, so... Quite convenient. In this couple of minutes is where I think Pontifex kind of goes wrong. He could have been expanding here, and I think just a minute ago we were even in hexes. It was like 11 to 12, but um, I now keep expanding, adding more Wraith Factories, more Ghoul Factories, more Silicon, more Titanium. And um, pretty sure that, yeah, he's focused on defense over there. Trying to make sure that uh, I don't break through. And fair enough, I mean, well, my last attack failed, so I'm going to add more stuff and then attack again. So he might be in trouble. Let's make this a full production hex. You see there's grass and ice here, so I can't really, I can't add my super silicon in here. Just going to make this one fully for defense. I'm still right on the border with a couple of these other players that just joined. Um, they could really do some damage if they wanted to. I notice I, I don't have enough silicon for this uh, at the present moment. It's less than it was just a few minutes ago, so I know that I'm, I'm bleeding silicon. And we need another double. Can we fit it? Yes. That, actually that, I don't delete the drill that's farthest at the bottom. It might be under grass. Uh, I don't stop to check. Even if it has a, a few tiles of grass, it'll work okay. Better than being on some other mineral. If it was on something else, then it would mine the other thing and not silica, not sand. So that would be a big problem. But now is fine. Let's get more titanium and more silicon. That's of course what we need for our units. Critical. Misplaced it. Make it perfect. One belt. Yeah, you see, it's not quite a full belt of titanium, or is it? Uh, I don't know. Pontifex is still massing on my borders. Uh, he's still, you saw there, he's attracting my fighters so that they run straight into his tower. And, uh, hey, what's up, bud? I'm gonna take this hex. Sorry, but that one was too close to my stuff. And I need it. I need to get a defensive wall around my hex. Uh, around all the hexes I have. And. Oh. Off. And also. This moment. Um, oh, you see, he's drawing in waves of my fighters. They're just flying straight into his defenses and getting chewed up. But I'm. I'm not too worried about that. I'm gonna focus on. Claiming hexes. Well, we'll check now. Let's just attack. He just grabbed a whole bunch of them off the off the edge of it, but uh, it's fine. We'll attack and rebuild the defenses. Those defenses <laughs> hold so well. That giant scatter thing. Uh, oh, that's not my hex. There's um quite a few players on the map right now, but really you can see it's it's down to me and Pontifex fighting it out here. 4k power, that's some, it's not enough. I'd like to be sitting around, you know, 20k at this point. And here you see Pontifex, I haven't taken the, the left side where Ventini's old base was, but um, I have taken a lot more hexes. He's still on 11 hexes, which is I think what he had when Ventini got out. Um, that's, that's the real difference in this game. So right here, I keep expanding. I mean, Granted, he's under a lot of pressure here because I've got a, a giant pinwheel of doom. Well, not right now, but whenever I rally, I do. have one there on the border. Um, and now, this bit, I mean, what I'm doing right here, it's kind of the, the first blow. If I can cut Pontifex off from the rest of the map, and we're, we're golden. Then things are going great. So, um, he was a little bit, or she, too slow to, to cut this off. 
See now he's he's noticed me and is trying to claim some hexes. He's gonna take the one just south of me, but uh, that's fine. We'll just go around. And um, he's taking hexes by just dropping in scatters, which is fine. But uh, I'm taking them by adding forts, which are gonna self-defend. See, there's he's just plopping scatters down. Um, it'll work to claim the hex fast, but I don't want to claim the hexes fast. I want to stop him from um, breaking out here. <laughs> He's trying to rush the marks down. Fortunately, uh, hex is already mine, and that killed him, so, um, or her. So, uh, they have to respawn in the back of the base. Uh, it lets me complete the full encirclement. And really, from here, I mean, I've got 23 hexes. He's got th 13. Um, that's kind of the the winning blow. It's going to take quite a while to take someone down because defenses here and with the walls are very good. I mean, these these forts can hold a lot. His or forts forts can hold just as much as mine. Um, they're very difficult to push, but that means claiming territory is very important. And that looks like a nice pinwheel. Let us send it down. Can we break them? Mm, we broke some stuff. Oh, it looks like there was a player there that's gone. Oh, but these, these little hexes, I mean, they're doing just as much work as his, pretty much. But, um... They're cheaper, faster. Uh, I don't have to spend any time setting them up. Just pull up them down. And now that we're um, engaged in fighting constantly and took that border, we need more Metaglass quickly. Because uh, I was almost out of Metaglass. Pretty much out of it. And that's what all my turrets are set up to fire. I set the unloaders to Metaglass. You can set your unloaders to lead or Metaglass, probably the best options. You could fire something else. I forget what else scatters can fire, but cyclones, you could fire plastanium. Probably don't want to fire that one because it doesn't produce that quickly and it's kind of hard to mass produce it. But Metaglass, oof, you can mass produce this. I don't know what happens here with the, <laughs> with my Metaglass scheme. It just decides to go all wonky with the conveyors. So that one. And we might need that lead, so go around it. Cap this. Ugh. I placed it off, but rather than fix it, I'm like, I need to go do something else. So we'll just make the unloader a little bit further off, set it to lead, send it in. Uh, I deleted the metaglass conveyor. Okay, it's back up and running. You know, while we're at it, this is a nice lead. Let's make more metaglass because you really can't have enough if you're making a bunch of those defensive um, scatter hexes. Push that all right into the core. All right, power. We haven't mailed any power in a while. That's a bad sign. Make sure you don't run out of power. Things are somewhat stable now. Pontifex made some progress. You see, he pushed out a little bit um, there in the middle. What have I got? 20k silicon, 19k titanium. That's going to be quite a few units. Since I'm rallying my units, they're not building uh, constantly. That means I'm not getting sapped of units constantly as well. They're sapped of uh, silicon and titanium constantly. And Pontifex, they're going to take. One more hex, maybe? They're pushing out against another fort. But um, these forts are strong. And as soon as you destroy someone's hex, you should reclaim. Um, this big scatter is not the optimal position. I could have used a smaller one here and used the bigger one closer to them. And uh, I can I can afford to really ignore all the other players around here who just have one hex, two hex, three hex. That's not really a problem. <laughs> They're mostly getting attacked by me anyway. 
Let's make the big scatter here. This is one that uh, Pontifex had taken a second ago. Uh, but we'll reclaim it with something bigger. Ah, oh, too late. He's... they've already built there. So, kind of a chink in the armor here. With... I'm thinking about, okay, do I try to make my own power over there? So that I can power those forts up. When they have power, they'll rebuild themselves, so that's major advantage. Um, it's not critical, though. They're, they work fine without power, too. Instead, let's focus units. 26k silicon, that means we need more units. And um, I've been kind of ignoring my pinwheel there over on the right. Um, but that's quite a few units. I mean, that's why we're banking up so much silicon titanium right now, it's because we've just had them hovering for a long time, and I noticed that now. So we need to go over and address it. I don't want to attack where I was, uh, I want to reposition them. And in the meantime, they can take the hex that's in their path. Should be convenient. Let's power that up, since I see it doesn't have power. Hopefully power's good. Oh, 15k. Yep, power is good. Now, a couple of half-build revenants here. I keep getting distracted. These things take so long to build, so um, when other priorities arise, I just abandon them. You can see the units floating down now. Um, it's just an overwhelming amount. And the wraiths mixed in, I think, are really helping the little wraith fighters. Let's attack. Because that somewhat neutralizes all of their revenants. And they just kind of fly around everywhere. They don't really um, focus down stuff quite as much, so they can just be kind of annoying. Kidding. Everything. Now we can finish off these big revenant factories and improve our mix to make it a lot more damage heavy. It looks like one of my titanium structure there has been lanced a bit by um, whatever new player was there, but uh, it's still functioning a little bit. I'm not worried about it. Oh. Trying to rebuild that hex, it's still getting hit, um, as is that one, but it still hasn't broken. So units are kind of getting wasted, just flying in here in small amounts. Let's rally them. Yeah, I mean, at this point, uh, Pontifex is sandwiched in, he's cornered. Um, over there. It's tough position. Let's just make sure that we can finish them off with... <laughs> it's just so beautiful to watch them flowing across the screen like that. All the uh, glorious wraiths and ghouls. Uh, you know, they build fast in the revenants. They, the only ones that kind of do that. You can do it with daggers and crawlers, of course, too, then get endless flows of units like that. But, um, yeah, very nice. 27 hexes to 13 hexes, 16 minutes remaining. I get it if you uh, want to skip to the end here, because not a whole lot changes, but we've got some glorious battles coming up. You can see just the swarming clouds over there doing a lot of work. At this point, the the units are just, oof, they're just overwhelming over here. Look at that. Okay. Oh, so much I blew up. Oh. Core is under attack. We need more cores. Yeah, that's one we just destroyed. I think I had it earlier. They took it back. Now let's retake it back. You know, there were some risks in this game for me if uh, I didn't keep defending these hexes, but now I've got a couple layers of defense, so yeah, you can see I've got at least two stacked layers um, all along the border with 
crucifix, so there's not much hope at this point. You can break one, but you probably you can't break two with even with a, a large cloud of remnants. And uh, by that time, I can bring in my own units and I can rebuild. I still got players popping in right next to me, and every time they do, they're distracting my units. So let's try to claim a couple of these hexes up here. Plus, it'll be nice to get just all the hexes on the map. That would be beautiful. There's a uh, there's different domination conditions based on how many hexes your opponent has. Pontifex has at least, you know, I mean, it, it scales up pretty fast. So once they've got two hexes, then you can take 15. Once they've got three, I think it's even more. And as long as they've got four or something, then um, I could basically take like 50 hexes before uh, I'll win by domination. So it takes a while. Now we've got a couple of command centers. Looks like oh, uh, his base is partially in ruins, but let's take it out completely. I noticed in an earlier match against Pontifex, he builds a lot of self-contained unit production facilities rather than the ones extending off the core. So I wonder if that's a habit from playing other servers or other versions uh, of Ministry, because. Oh man, this this is a lot of units. A lot of rates. Oh, <laughs> don't get caught there. And um, yeah, it's a it's a tough one it, it, from this position. I mean, oof, don't know what you can do. Just getting hemmed in right here with waves and, and waves coming in against you. And even though there's a couple of revenants here, I can sneak around, rebuild the thing, and it's gonna take an even larger force to destroy it. Um, it didn't quite, didn't quite beat it there. Mm, now we we chat about about the match because you know it's it's uh kind of concluded here. Yeah, I think his mistake was sort of yeah going after Venzini. Uh, let me get that free boom. Lots of titanium, lots of silicon. Yeah, that was uh, that was the outfall. Plus, you know, this map makes it um, especially easy for me to just kind of turtle up, build some defensive hexes, and I'm all set. That's probably more defense than we need in this location. Um, could have just simply claimed the hex, or made my small scatter undefended, um, but why not? More the barrier. I kind of want to stop people from spawning in right next to me. Constantly they're distracting everything um, that's intended to finish off Pontifex. <sighs> it is hard to finish off people on these closed maps because defense is, is so much better than offense here. We need, I don't know, more powerful air units, perhaps? Or weaker turrets? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I like it. I, it's I've had a lot of success on these kinds of maps, so I don't mind too much. But um, it's not... It's a different balance than the ground, the ground maps, that's for sure. How are we doing on silicon at this point? I think uh, it's starting to drain away. But nonetheless, we need more remnants to get the, the killing blow here. We need all the remnants. Because, um, yeah, you can see Pontifex is turtled up. Uh, it's kind of a 1v1v1, one one, but yeah, he's right. I, I didn't fight but, uh, Benzini, but I mean, he didn't have to fight Benzini. That was you know, by choice. Or, I mean, that was, I mean, I think my smartest move was running away at the beginning. Turned out to be a smart move. Who knows? Could have backfired. Well, don't think it could have backfired, but um, it worked out great. <laughs> I'll just say that much. Let's take all the hexes. 
build more remnants. Oh man, we need so much in order to take down these super well defended areas. They're starting to break through though. We we cleared out one more there. Uh, there's a little counterattack. But the fix doesn't go anywhere. He's attacking that hex that I just have remnant factories in and have like basically zero defenses in there. But nonetheless, they survive. Haven't added power in a while, so let's add some power. Oh yeah, that map is, is very nice. Just covering the whole thing. 12k silicon, so that's down a lot from 24k where we had it earlier. It means I'm draining it faster than I'm producing it. And we need more. And we need to claim hexes so that people stop appearing, so let's do that too. But um, it has been a while since we released our fighters. Oh, just kidding. I mean, we're attacking constantly right now. So they're all getting wrecked. And for a moment, uh, we're the only two players. Which is convenient. Wish it would stay that way, but... Um, I'm going to take that opportunity to try to take as many hexes as possible. It's rare that you get the server to your songs. But uh, speak too soon, there's already a, another player coming in. I just leave my units on autopilot for a while though. They're just streaming in. Okay, 7k silicon now. It's still quite low. It was 12k a minute ago. But um, it doesn't matter too much. If we just rally, then silicon will oh, that's, that's not mine. Uh, then silicon will start to be resupplied. Then why is that not connected to power? Okay, that's probably why I was getting damaged need to have a connect to power so it repairs itself. Well, let's get that silicon. Titanium looks okay. I mean, titanium's dropping as well, but, um, well, I guess titanium's not okay in that case, but, uh, <laughs> silicon's dropping faster. That one will, will be out first. Oh, yeah. They're just, there's so many units. Just, funneling down there. I mean, that's that's why people play the game, I think. That's why people come come back to it after... Oh well, just glorious when you're in this position, and you can take the whole map. It, this game, it snowballs a lot, so after you've gotten some stuff, you know, it's, it's difficult to be challenged when you've got double the hexes of your opponent. Not really. Anyway, they're gonna come back unless you make a mistake. So, note to beginner players, take hexes. Helps quite a bit. Uh, I mean, it's kind of unique to the server since you get a new core. <laughs> Just end it. Yeah. Yeah. I hadn't released them in a while, so no, it was a problem. But <laughs> it's hard to break through. Definitely hard to break through. It's got overdrivers, it's got cyclones. They are strong. Let's take some more. <laughs> I mean, we gotta finish them off. Let's add more remnants. Probably don't have the silicon to even build these ones right now, but we'll try. We'll keep them coming. I don't think I was paying attention much to the, the time here, but there's only a couple of minutes left. Not that one. Smaller one. Don't need quite as many defenses. Once you've destroyed everything in the hex, take it. Take it as quick as possible. In this position, I mean, these air maps especially. On the ground maps, it doesn't matter so much, because if you can't hold on to a hex, then there's no reason to take it. And on the ground maps, you've got to be, uh, build much larger defensive fort structures. Because, you know, just these little ones can hold off, I don't know, 30, 40 revenants, but 
30, 40 fortress would uh, destroy this pretty easily. Yeah, I've taken quite a few hexes, pretty much filling up the whole map. Um, I have done it so that I got 50 hexes before. But, you know, it was, wasn't against a, a very great opponent. I was just capping hexes for capping hexes sake. I mean, which is a little bit what I'm doing here. I mean, yeah, I could have focused on adding more Solkhan, adding more titanium, building more revenants to finish this quicker. That might have been smart. Make like, you know, 500 revenants. So at this point, it's a bit greedy for the points. I want to stay, uh, I think I'm fifth right now in the, the global rankings, and I want to stay there so I get my custom unique trail at the end of the month, which is in just three days at this point, um, when this video is filmed. So let's take all the hexes. Where did all my units go? Uh, they're all distracted by someone who just arrived. There's another hex though. Yeah, I talked about the balance a little bit early, earlier. Maybe it's a little bit off, especially on these kinds of maps. But, um, unclear. I like it, so I don't mind. I mean, yeah, these, these closed maps give you a lot of time to build up. Okay, so Silicon's below a thousand. <laughs> That's really dropping. Um, but, you know, it doesn't matter too much right now. I guess I'm just at the limit of my resources building silicon, not building units. That is, yeah, the, the silicon's not coming out very fast. You can see there with the remnants. I don't even have enough to finish structures like this, but I have a still have a huge income. It's just getting used up immediately, so we can still finish things off. That's probably wasn't enough silicon to balance us, but. It helps. And we cleared another hex, so let's take it. For some reason, this other player wants to intrude. Stop me, I guess. <laughs> it's not really gonna help. No. Um, I mean, that is a tactic, so if you add four vaults to a hex, that's the quickest way to capture it. They put down a container, which you know isn't going to be very quickly. But uh, I mean, I disagree there with Pontifex. Cyclones still quite important and very powerful. And I have some cyclone folks, but you know, at the same time, I don't end up putting them down very often. I just put scatters everywhere. It's cheaper. It's quicker. I don't need plastic to build them. Oh, I forget. Cyclones take plastic. I think they do. Study forts, yeah, I mean, they are OP, so <laughs> scatters are, are OP here, but balance uh, is what it is right now, so. Got to understand it. I think, you know, Pontifex hasn't played as much lately, so. Not used to this map and its settings as much. Which, uh, I've played a fair amount on this map. I can take advantage of it. Most of my hexes, you can see, are just these defensive ones. Didn't really stop adding it. You go after a certain point. After it was pretty clear that um, I was firmly ahead. Could have added more. You go to finish it quicker. Probably should have, you know, just so that everyone could get back to a new game. <laughs> He's still trying to send arcs to destroy my command center and uh, stop me from massing units. And it's not going to help too much at this point. Yeah, we'll try to finish them off. Oh, I died. Oh, they're just coming from everywhere, the units. <laughs> and uh, hexes are falling left and right. Hold it on, full steam ahead. Ah, oh, wasn't quite quick enough. Zero minutes remaining. GG. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, see you again soon.
in the next one. Feel free to comment, like, 